Have you ever wondered what would happen if you got fitted for every single golf brand? I feel like it's really the only way to know what is actually the best for you, right Tate? Yeah. It's the only way to know. So we haven't gotten fitted for every single brand, but we've been fitted for Srixon, Cobra, Mizuno, TaylorMade, and PXG. We're, we're almost done with Ping. We're missing Titleist and Callaway as some of the big players and of course a couple other smaller brands. Time to tell you what exactly we are fitted for by each brand and what we like about them. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna kinda go through what we chose from each brand through our fitting process and what really worked for us. Don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. You can get fitted here at our showroom. Um, check out our awesome barbecue channel and also stay tuned, we got a give giveaway. Givey. A little givey givey that we gotta do. Also, don't forget if you're interested and you're in the Denver area and you wanna come here and get fitted, you can schedule that by emailing golf at embersliving.com and we'll get a fitting schedule for you. Yes. All right, so should we start with Strixon? It's first right here. Yeah, Might as well. first right here. So Strixon, we both, you know, pretty simple. Strixon's a very simple brand. We both went with the ZX5 drivers. Yep. I also did a three wood and a hybrid. I did a five wood and a two hybrid. I did a three wood, three hybrid, and then iron set four through pitching wedge. We what both did you do? went with the ZX5s, yep. which are middle of the road. So for Srixon, we have the ZX4s, which are the most forgiving. ZX5s in general are for mid handicappers. For most players. And then ZX7 would be like what Kepka plays and stuff. Yeah, low handicap. Um, so that's what I did, and then Cleveland Putter. So they're pretty cool. They're part of the Cleveland brand. So our wedges are Cleveland wedges. Because they're all owned by Srixon. Yes. Yep. So we're gonna kind of go through what we did here, and then we're gonna tell you which one impressed us the most as far as a brand top to bottom of the bag. Yeah. Right? Let's do it, yeah. What did you learn about the fitting process, getting fitted for all of these? <sighs> about getting fitted in general? Yeah, so the biggest thing I found out is there's, there's some fitters that are very, very deep into the analytics. They want to show every number, they want to show every calculation, mm -hmm. which for some players, that's fantastic. Like you, you really enjoyed seeing every bit of yeah. that. And then some fitters are throwing together combinations so fast, handing you clubs, just seeing what you can get a feel for, which I like that style a little bit more, I think goes for me. Yeah. Um, I don't really care about what shaft's in my hand, I want to hit what's going to feel good. Um, it you know, kind of gets in my head when I look at too many numbers, so. yeah. But that's I, the biggest thing. I learned that, and we're gonna get to it as we get to these other bags, is you can't just say, for example, um, Strixon has the fours, fives, and sevens. You can't say, I'm a mid handicapper, so I'll take the middle club. Yeah. Tate's a better ball striker than me and has a lower handicap than me. And through some of these iron bags, we actually flip flopped. Yeah. On, I actually chose an iron, it suited me better, that is in generally less forgiving and more for a lower handicap. Yeah. And Tate chose. And so it's just depending on what you're comfortable with. Which so what you're saying is there's not necessarily a rule. Yeah, you can't go online and be like, all right, I know my shaft, so I'll take the mid handicap club head with the shaft I want. Yeah. No, you really gotta get fitted. Yeah. It's really important. And feel, like what clubs are you hitting the most? Your irons. Yes. Like you need to know what feels good for you, what, what's hitting that spot for you. Yeah. And this video, again, is just kind of an overview. We're gonna get to, um, our next video we're shooting is gonna be what's in the bag. So we've been fitted for all five bags. Yeah and then we're gonna actually build our bag that we're gonna play this season. And it's time. We've been tinkering so much, it's time. Well, it took a really long time to get fitted for all these. It took a long time just to get every And the reason, reason we don't have Titleist in here is we're waiting for the new irons to come out. Yeah, those um, are Those dropped awesome. on tour, so we figured we're not gonna go get fitted for the irons now when those new ones are probably coming sooner than later. In the next few months, yeah. And then Ping really doesn't like to work with us. The rep really ghosts us, never calls us back. Yeah, um, so we did get fit for their irons, but yeah. Not really a whole lot else in the bag. Callaway, same thing. Uh, reps don't really want to work with us. So, you know, we can't just go pay full price for all this stuff. So if these brands are here, these are um, guys that either brands we carry or reps that really work with us and help yeah. give us a deal for our YouTube channel, yeah. uh, which is really cool. All right, let's get on to Cobra. So we both actually went on the iron side. We both went with the King Cavity Back, Yep. which is more of like a tour club. Yeah. But if you watch that video, we hit every single head they yes. have. We yeah, started we Aerojet and went all the way through the, the, pretty much the blade. 
Cobra's been known for their their really good drivers for a long time. Yep. And uh, and and woods, but I've I've always slept on their irons. Yeah. And I know tell you this through the iron fitting, their irons really impress me overall. Yeah. I've only ever, in the past, you know, five six years, the only irons I've ever actually like done research on was the Ricky Blades. You remember yes. those? Those yep. things were so thin. Um, just because they looked cool, that's the only reason I did any research on them. Driver, I went with the Palm Tree Special Edition. Yep. Love this driver. Aerojet's one of my favorite drivers. If you watched our top five driver video, this was, I ranked it number two, you ranked it number one. Yeah. So I just went with the normal, same driver as Trevor, just with the normal Aerojet yep. colorway. Uh, I did three wood, three hybrid. Same. And then their funky laser printed Suburban. This is like a car with a shaft on it this putter so very forgiving i don't know how i feel about it i, I didn't do the 3d in the printed i did the stingray mallet stingray mallet yeah and then of course the snake bite wedges are pretty attractive yeah that black the matte black one trev you don't have any of those i did the matte black in a 50 56 or 58 there Look so this is this is a, a good example of what we're talking about not so much for tape but more for me the the cavity back is above my pay grade for my skill set, I think. On paper. On paper, but yeah. I hit it out of all their irons, I hit it the best, it's weird. And it felt the best. I like clubs that are um, don't have as much loft to them because I struggle getting the ball in the air. And so more of those tour type clubs have a uh, softer lofts to them, mm -hmm. so the ball launches better. All right, let's get to Mizuno. Now Mizuno's like we're known- further and further apart from each other. Yeah, well, let's just bring them in no. while we're doing it. Mizuno's known for their irons. Yep. They obviously, them and Strixon, I think, are the top two irons in golf, oh, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Um, so obviously, we went with the Mizuno. S I did the STZ, Z. which both of us did that. Yep. Very sharp looking driver, very soft off the face. That was one thing I really liked about it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is example, again, going back to why a fitting is so important. What we flip flopped here. We yes. flip-flopped on our irons. We did. So Tate's playing the hollow body 225s. He yep. liked those the best. And honestly, uh, from an attractiveness wise, I like those better than the ones I got. Now, I also have a set of hot metal pros, but playing with them, they ended up just a little too hot for me. So I'm actually into the 223s, which is a pro club. And uh, soft, these irons man, are so soft. These are probably so the good. softest fully forged irons that I've, I've hit, hit. Yeah, I've ever probably. hit. So if you're looking for fully forged and soft, yeah. Two, two, threes are awesome. Yeah. Now I'm like in no man's land because I think I'm, my ball striking is a little too good for mid handicap irons, but I'm really not awesome yet for players irons. No. So I'm like, I'm probably thinking combo set or something. Yeah. Uh, wedges. I have the, you can see I've played a, played a desert course with these. So they got a little beat up. I love the blue finish, the T22s. 56 and 60. And then one thing I really like about the Mizuno putters is their weights are adjustable and their milled putters come with a weight kit. The weights come with it, yeah. Yes, so you, you have three weighted options within your putter, that which comes I standard. really you like. You don't have to order anything out. Really of like that. They actually make a, I think people sleep on their putters. Oh yeah, and they're milled, milled face. Yeah, and the driver was a big improvement this year. The driver was honestly, out of a lot of the drivers we hit, if you watch the top five video, it was so soft. So soft. Yes. All right, should we get to TaylorMade? Yep. TaylorMade, that's probably the hottest brand right here, right? Yes. So this is a brand we do not carry in the store, but the TaylorMade guys were very gracious and came here and spent a whole day with us. And taught us the process, educated us. Taught us, us the product, did an entire fitting. They are here like four hours. Yeah. Unfortunately, so. we couldn't record. Uh, we wanted to. But uh, real, real cool guys, yeah, and uh, really hooked us up. Now I think it goes without saying that TaylorMade is the sexiest brand aesthetically. It's the this brand is, that yeah you want to roll up head to toe TaylorMade. This bag right here is my most attractive bag. Literally you got the bag. The LA US Bank. Yeah, the bag the US, itself is the most attractive. US Bank, US Open. And this is another one where Tate and I flip flopped on irons. So I'm playing the P7MCs, which is again more of a player's tour club. Yep. But how attractive are those? This is by far, out of all the irons I have, 
my most attractive iron set out of the five. Yeah, but don't go sleeping on these 770s either. 770. So you Those we flipped. Look so you good. would think based on the skill set, I would be in the 770s, and you would be in the M7 MCs. Hey, don't get me wrong. I've messed around with these irons that Trevor has here in the bag, and they feel so good too. Yeah. I'm just more consistent. Five times with the forged. 770s. But how about these custom mitos? Their wedges are just awesome. So they have a raw face on the wedge, but you're not going to have a raw finish. I did custom. Green Bay Packers. So I have Bart Starr, Aaron Rodgers, and Brett Favre's numbers on there on my 60 degree, and then my Michael Jordan 54 degree. Yeah. Again. But I did my 54 in the Tiger edition. Look at that. That thing is sweet. Yeah. But that's not custom. You just ordered it. I that just way. ordered it that way. Now, again, going back to just straight sexiness, I did a custom stealth two. So my stealth. So I did a green face, gold ring and a matte finish. Now this is again, we both were in the plus, which is their low spin, least forgiving driver, right? Yep. So I surprised myself again. This is like a tour bag I'm playing. Well, I don't know if I'm playing it, but this is That's tour, what you're fitted for, bag. Yeah, you've tried out, messed yeah. around with. So very, very attractive, very, very good. All right, should we get to PXG? Let's do it. So both of us are very familiar with PXG because we both have been playing PXG for a few years. Last year, our entire bags were PXG for the entire season. Club to club, other than putter. 13 out of 14 clubs yes. were PXG last year. So, new Gen 6 stuff came out. New Gen 6 clubs are pretty beat. You played with them a bit, didn't you? Oh yeah, I played a lot with these. Yeah. So, Tate's in the Gen 6 irons. Again, another flip, flippy. Yeah. What and am I, I liked in? the cavity back. I'm in the ca cavity backs. I liked them. The feel of the, the Gen 6s, I couldn't beat it though. The Gen 6 are just too squishy for me. Yeah. If that makes sense. Uh, Gen 6 driver, I think, is awesome. I think it's uh, the biggest improvement in the Gen 6 lineup mm -hmm. is their driver. This driver is top notch. Yeah. Fairway woods are always strong. I think people, if, if people sleep on something with this brand, it's the, woods. it's the fairway woods. That's right. So, what would be your sleeper club? or sleeper category for each brand. For PXG, it's their Fairway Woods. PXG, it's Fairway Woods. Um, Sugar Daddy wedges too, by the way. Sugar Daddies are great. Taylor made. Taylor made. I don't know if really anybody sleep sleeps on anything with Taylor back made. to the camera, bro. Oh, I don't think if anybody sleeps on anything with Taylor made. No, you're right. The high toes are great, driver's great. People love the irons. Mizuno, people are sleeping on their putters and drivers. Yeah, constantly. Cobra, people sleep on their irons. And Strixon, same people thing. People sleep on Strixon, other than the Cleveland People wedges. sleep on the brand. <laughs> the whole brand. <laughs> You're right. Because what they, I mean, they make every club yes. pretty good. Okay, so you know what else I learned? What? Through fitting, getting fitted for all five of these. I learned that I would feel pretty comfortable going out and playing any five of the, pick up, picking up any five of these bags and it being my bag. Yeah. yeah That's how gave important a, few a, fitting, rounds, you a fitting is. Confident in any of them. Yes. So, which brand do you think is the strong, now that you've been fitted for all of them? Club to club? Head to toe, top to bottom. Which brand that has the strongest portfolio from putter to driver, mm -hmm. you think? After going through the full fitting process with all five brands. I think you got your hand on it. Srixie? It's up there. TaylorMade has the most money. So okay. they've, they've, they've put the, what is it? D, RNA? R and D. R and they put the most research and development. Research and development. There you go. TaylorMade's got the most money to do that, so every club's been dialed. <sighs> I think one of the strongest brands, putter to driver, is not here. What is it? It's got to be Titleist. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Titleist is the only brand I know where the bottom of the bag's stronger. The ball. The ball. Scotty putters. The putter. Vokey wedges. Yep. They obviously make killer irons. But in my opinion, I would say that Titleist would be the strongest bag putter to driver for low handicappers. Yeah. Now, again, our channel is really based for mid handicappers. Mm -hmm. For mid handicappers, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, hmm. It's, got, it's easily Strixon. Yeah. Here. Yep. So 
For mid handicappers. Mid handicappers. Yeah. We got, so they make the Z Stars, which compete with the Pro V1s. Yep. And I honestly like think, like it better. And we have a video on that. $8 cheaper, and I think it performs better. Yep. So you have, they kind of cheated, but I guess so does Titleist because they have the Vokey brand. Yeah. But they bought out Cleveland, who the spends are. the most amount of R&D in just wedges. And so boy, are they great. They have probably one of the top, they have a top two wedge. Yeah. They have a top two golf ball. They have a top two iron, yeah. easily. Easily a top two iron. That Japanese forge is hard and to see. And they have top five driver in fairway woods. Yeah. And the Cleveland putters are growing on me. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, you hear the name Cleveland and a putter, it's not like. Yeah. But again, for a mid handicapper, you don't want to go out and spend $500 on a Scotty. No. So, so you, you get a milled get a putter for $199. $199 milled, milled putter that looks just like a Scotty. So if you're a guy that uh, just is real particular and you want everything to match and it yeah. all would be one brand. If I could, if I could only get fitted for one brand and it had to be the same brand putter to driver, it would be Srixon. The only thing you, yeah. Clubs club wise. Yes. yes. The only thing Srixon doesn't do great apparel. is their apparel and which bags. There's and bags. rumors, rumors that's changing in bags. Yeah. This is the special edition tour bag, but like as far as practical bags to play with, eh. um, all right, what? Just not the look. Of. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But what I've learned is that regardless of the brand, if, as long as you're fitted properly, you can probably go out and swing with any yeah. brand. You know, yeah. that's a secret a lot of guys don't want to know, but you could really play any brand. You could. Now, obviously, we all have our favorites. Our favorites. Taylor Made, um, people that follow Rory, Tiger, Scotty, Tommy. Colin. Keep going. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm missing somebody big. Did you say Scotty? Mm -hmm. You said Tiger? Yep. Rory? Yep. Tommy Fleetwood, Colin Morikawa. I, I mean, I, that's, that's, that's enough. If you follow any of those guys, you might want to hit the, the TaylorMade. PXG obviously has got um, heavy military background, so they have a big pull with stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You Mizuno, get a great discount. Yeah, huge discount. Um, Mizuno obviously is like a youth, young play right now with all the YouTube guys that were playing it. They've all left for the bigger brands now, it seems, but Mizuno's a hot play. They're, they're like the purists, like iron. Yes. So if you're a purist, yep. most purists are either playing Titleist or Mizuno. Yep. Cobra. Cobra's coming Mickey on Fowler. strong. I mean, come on. Do, need I say more? Ricky's been one of the biggest pulls yeah. in golf for a while. And then Srixon, you got Brooks Kepka, um, Hideki. You got big brands, but then you also have really high quality clubs. Yeah. So. so I know this is kind of a vague overview because we're not letting the cat out of the bag because the next video that we have to shoot is we're going to piece our bags together. Or maybe we'll just pick up a bag and that will be our bag. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll just start kicking them over if they get eliminated. Yeah. Actually, so these are some that's the bags. next video we're doing. So make sure you subscribe so you can check out that video yep. on what's in the bag that's finally coming. It's three months in the making. And, um, and honestly, we give a giveaway, a pretty big giveaway in 99% of our videos. Yeah, we got to listen so to our giveaway. We have a giveaway today. I forgot. Brother? Oh, we're giving away. Um, Tell them because I forgot. We're giving away a bag. Yeah. So currently we have a decent stock of Mizuno bags like this guy here. And Cobra bag. So you win this bag. Can I finish? Sorry, now I and remember. And the Cobra bag on your left elbow. I remember. Your right, my left. Yeah. So that tan one. Um, we also have some other colors. But all you have to do is you have to subscribe to our channel and comment in the video. Mm -hmm. You have to drop a comment. That's what we pick from. Don't we have a, to announce a winner of a Cleveland putter? We do. So the winner of the Cleveland putter was Florida Knox. Florida, Florida Knox. Florida NOX. And his comment was... Something along the lines of he's checking them out soon. So Florida we got Knox, you have to email Chris at golf at embersliving.com. I had a person reach out to us. They bought a full set from us, but they just couldn't find our email. It's yeah. golf at embersliving.com. Shoot Chris an email. He asked for some verification. Florida Knox, congratulations. All right, guys. I know we did a lot of information here. We went through five big brands that did full fittings, club to club for us. Um, it's a lot of information. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited um, to, for what's in the bag. Yeah, I'm excited too. You know, what's the, you know what though? I'm like, 
I'm 90% there. I can't make up my mind on some stuff. Yeah. But you know what also is hard when you get fitted for five bags? It's figuring out what you want in your bag. Because Good problem they're to have. all great. Yeah. Good problem to have. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.